Nailing the nuances. Fixed versus flexible idiomatic expressions. Hello language enthusiasts. Welcome to another enlightening video. Today, we're diving deep into the realm of idiomatic expressions, especially focusing on the differences between fixed and flexible idiomatic expressions. Remember, idiomatic expressions are a vital part of English language learning, enhancing your fluency and making your expressions more native-like. Let's unravel the layers of idiomatic expressions together. Firstly, let's brush up on what idiomatic expressions are. These are phrases or expressions in English where the meaning isn't directly evident from the individual words used. For example, break a leg doesn't literally mean to break your leg. Instead it means good luck. Now, let's talk about fixed idiomatic expressions. As the name implies, these idioms are fixed, and changing even a single word can alter their meaning or make them unrecognizable. For instance, kick the bucket is a fixed idiomatic expression meaning someone has died. Saying kick the pail wouldn't carry the same meaning and would likely cause confusion. On the flip side, we have flexible idiomatic expressions. These are more adaptable and allow for changes in wording while maintaining their idiomatic meaning. For example, the idiom, beat around the bush, means to avoid saying what one really means. This idiom can flexibly change into, stop beating around the bush, or, he's always beating around the bush, and it will still be understood in the same way. This section is about developing an eye for identifying whether an idiom is fixed or flexible. This can be challenging, as there aren't always clear-cut rules. It often comes down to familiarity and practice. Reading widely, listening to English media, and using idioms in your conversations are all ways to develop this skill. That wraps up our discussion on fixed and flexible idiomatic expressions. As always, remember that understanding and using idioms requires practice, exposure, and a dash of patience. Continue to immerse yourself in the English language and watch these idiomatic expressions become a natural part of your language skills. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.